What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and in yesterday's video I showed you guys an updated Magic Specter deck profile for the September 2024 ban list. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys combos that you need to know to be competitive and to be successful with this deck. If you guys didn't check out the deck profile, make sure to check it out. It's the last video on the channel. But today's video, we're going to be showing you guys some combos. I'm going to be showing you guys three combos that you need to know to be competitive with Magic Specter in today's format. So with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, so to get started with the first combo over here, all you're going to need is a single Bunbuku and any card to discard. It doesn't really matter what it is. Effectively, all these combos I'm going to be showing you are 1.5 card combos. One card combos essentially, but any other card does the trick. It does not matter what that card is. Let's start off with this. We're going to normal summon our Bunbuku and activate its effect. And that is going to be able to search our Yamarashi. Now, our Yamarashi is going to be able to activate the special summon itself to our side of the field. Using these two bodies, we can link them off into a link two. And of course, the go-to link to that we're going to be making is our Nui. Now Nui's effect here is going to trigger which is going to put two cards into our extra deck. The two cards that we're going to want to put are your Majesty Pegasus as well as your Yara and it's going to be able to add back two cards so we're going to add back our Yamarashi as well as our Bambuku. Now what this does for us is it sets up our two and our five scales over here so we're going to scale our cards scale two scale five and we're going to be able to pendulum summon now. So we're going to pendulum summon our Yara as well as the Majesty Pegasus that we sent to the extra deck earlier. And then we're going to be activating some effects. So we're going to go Majesty Pegasus, Chain Link 1, and then Yada is Chain Link 2. Yada is going to be able to get to us a spell card, and this is going to be able to get us a field spell. So the spell card we're going to want to search is going to be our Wind, and the field spell here we're going to want to search is going to be our Secret Village. Now that's really important because this is kind of one of your Floodgate cards that you're going to be ending on for this combo, so that's really important. Now Majesty Pegasus also does have an effect when you search this, you have to discard a card, and that's what I mean by needing that discard. So we're going to send this to the graveyard over here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to use the Majesty Pegasus as well as the auto over here. You're going to rank them up into our Magic Specter Draco Rui. What you're going to do now is you're going to activate your Magic Specter Wind, tributing your Nui, and then you're going to be able to summon a Magic Specter from deck, which is your Ogama. And so now what you're going to want to do is use our Rio as Chilling One as well as Ogama as our Chilling Two. Ogama is going to be able to get a card directly from our deck to the field, and the one we're going to want here is Wind. And then Ryu is going to activate by detaching a card over here. Let's detach our Magister, Majesty Pegasus over here, and then we're going to be able to special summon in another majesty pegasus now the reason you want to summon a majesty pegasus over here is going to want to use these two over here you're going to fusion summon them into your uh dinosaur over here and dinosaur is going to be really important because it's going to act as an extender for you has a really cool effect which is you can summon a draco summoner monster from your hand or your graveyard and that's really important that's why we detached the majesty pegasus earlier so we're going to be able to do that but just before we do that we're going to activate our ryu again because a card was tributed right it doesn't have to activate just fun fact guys it does not have to activate it when a card is tributed it says if a card is tributed which it already was it meets the requirements and you can use it up to twice per turn. So now we're going to use this again and we're going to be able to summon our QB. QB has an effect which gets you a trap card and the trap we're going to be wanting to get here is Tempest. Of course you can get Tornado as well but in this case I think Tempest is really good. It essentially is a uh, solemn strike for the deck and it's really important to get this because you're going to be locking your opponent essentially out of spell cards and then you're going to have a monster effect to get here as well. But then of course like I said we're going to use our Dinosaur now and our Dinosaur is going to be able to summon back our Majesty Pegasus. Okay now with these two you're gonna ixy summon them and summon our majesty paladin now majesty paladin has a really cool effect on summon it lets you add a card on the end phase which is really important a pendulum card which is really nice and it has another effect as an extender for you where we're going to activate it now detach a card and be able to special summon a, a draco slayer from our extra deck so the one we're going to want to summon back is our majesty pegasus that we used earlier for the dynamite and power right what you're going to want to do now is you're going to set the tempest and then you are going to activate your secret village, essentially locking your opponent out of spell cards because you do control spellcasters on the field, which is really nice. Now on the end phase, you do get a search and the card you're going to want to search here is your Yamarashi. Yamarashi does two things for you. One, it gets you wind back onto your side of the field when it's summoned and it's also a quick effect to summon itself. But two, it's going to put another spellcaster on your side of the field, which means you are going to be able to keep that secret village live. So what you're going to do now is you're going to pass, right? So this is the end board. And then what you're going to do on your opponent's turn is earlier we set that wind off of Ogama, right? We're going to use our wind here. We're going to tribute our Majesty Pegasus. This is on our opponent's turn, right? right? So we're going to tribute this and we're going to be able to summon a monster from deck. Of course, the one we're going to summon here is Kirin. And then what we're going to be able to do as well, we already have spellcasters on the board, but just for extra protection, we can use our Yamarashi effect as a quick effect, summon it to our side of the field, and it's going to be able to set a spell card from our graveyard. The one we're going to want to set is our wind. So essentially what you're ending on here is a monster negate. You also have fodder for the monster negate with Tempest. You have wind for follow up. You have 
Unicorn as a bounce, you have this for protection, and you have this to lock your opponent out of all spell cards. So this is kind of a control style deck. Once your opponent can't really break this, you can start to push for a lot of damage turn three. You can link off into stuff like access code, into your extra deck monsters. These monsters themselves are pretty big, so if you're able to clear your opponent's board or stop them from making a board with all of this actually, you're able to push for a lot of damage that way as well. So this is effectively a very similar combo where you're starting with Yada instead of your Bambuku, but it's still a 1.5 card combo, one Yada and any card you discard. What you're gonna do is you're gonna normal summon your Yada, but now you're gonna have to add the Magic Spectre Wind. You're gonna activate your wind over here, tributing your Yada to be able to special summon a Bambuku. Now what Bambuku is gonna let you do, of course, is search a Yamarashi, and this effectively gets you to the point of the full combo like I showed you earlier, but I wanna show you because there's a little bit of a difference. You're gonna be able to special summon Yamarashi, but at this point you already used wind, so you can actually use its effect to set the wind back. We can't use it this turn, of course, but it's still really powerful. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna link these two off to our Nui. Now, Nui here is gonna do something a little bit different. You're actually gonna wanna send your Majesty Pegasus, of course, like always, but also QB. The reason you're sending QB is actually because you've already used your Yara. There's no reason to use Yara again. We might as well use QB and try to get to a trap card as fast as possible. So we're gonna send these two. And then what we're gonna be able to do, of course, is add back our Yamarashi and our Bambuku to our hand. This is going to our extra deck over here. And these are gonna be in our hand. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is activate your scales as always. So two Yamarashi, five Bambuku and Pendulum Summon. You're gonna Pendulum Summon your QB and you're gonna Pendulum Summon your your majesty pegasus they're gonna go chain link one pegasus chain link two qb qb is going to be able to get a trap card in this case we're getting tempest and this is going to be able to get a field spell but instead of getting secret villagers time you're actually going to want to get something to extend your combos a little bit further and that is your majesty's pegasus now of course you're gonna to have to discard a card so we're just using that 1.5 cards so we're just using that other 0.5 cards to discard doesn't matter what it is and here's where you are at this moment now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to exceed these two as usual into your ryu and then what you're going to do here because we already used our wind we actually Actually, this card to get this effect off we're going to activate our majesty pegasus and activate its effect to tribute our nui to summon a yara from deck now this could be any card honestly it could be nekomara if you guys play nekomara which i don't it doesn't really matter it's just summoning any other name the reason you want to do this is to be able to get the ryu effect off here so what you're going to do is you're going to detach the majesty pegasus again from the ryu to activate its effect and then it's going to be able to summon a majesty pegasus from your deck now this is very important that you summon a majesty pegasus here because you're going to be using this as well as your yara or any other name that you summon it doesn't matter what this name is but this and your yara you're going to fusion summon these off to make your dinosaur over here now what you're going to do is you're going to use your Ryu again because something was tributed to summon your Ogama. Ogama is going to get the trigger now to actually get you a spell or a trap. And in this case, you're actually going to set our Tornado. We search our Tempest, we're going to be able to set Tornado. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to activate your Dinosaur here because we detached the Majesty Pegasus earlier, summon it back, and then you're going to be able to use these two to go into a Majesty Pegasus. Majesty Paladin, I should say. Sorry about that. But you're going to activate its effect now during the end phase. You're going to get the search. You're going to activate its effect again, detach the Majesty Pegasus from underneath it to summon the Majesty Majesty Pegasus from your extra deck. Now at this point, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna set the Tempest and pass. End phase, is you're gonna be able to search, here you can search your Yamarashi as always. Now, if you're playing Nekomara and you get a second search, you can actually search another Bambuku here. I don't like playing Nekomara. I think it's kind of like a brick. That's why I'm not playing it. So in this case, we're just getting Yamarashi. But of course, if you are playing it, then it's fine. Now, at this point, you have the same exact end board over here. You have a wind, you have a tornado, but it's actually a little bit better because you have a tornado and you have a tempest. So what you're going to do on your opponent's turn. So let's say we forget these two. On our opponent's turn, we're going to activate our wind, tribute our majesty Pegasus, which goes to the extra deck actually. And then we're going to be able to summon a Kirin from our deck. And then what you're gonna be able to do is activate your Yamarashi, summon it, this that went to the graveyard, you can now set it back. And now you're ending on a board with two trap cards over here. So this is another control board, another version of the combo where essentially you're ending on the same thing, but instead of locking your opponent out of spells, you have a monster negate, you have a monster banish, you have a monster bounce, and then you have follow up with your win for next turn. And so for the last combo over here, I wanna show you guys how to play when you open Majesty Pegasus. Of course, some hands are gonna be opening this card. It's an absolutely insane card. And I wanna show you guys what you can do to maximize this card. Now you have to open it with any other Majesty Vector name. It does not matter what the name is, but in this case, we're just gonna do two Majesty Pegasus because to a lot of people, this might look like a brick, but it's actually a really good hand. And of course you need any other card to discard. So any two Majesty Specters, specifically one has to be Majesty Pegasus and any other Majesty Specter name gets this combo done. So the first thing you're gonna do is activate your Majesty Pegasus and activate the other one in scale and then what you're gonna do is activate the first one pop this one 
to get to a dynamite power load, activate the dynamite power load, which is gonna use its effect now to special summon a Majesty Pegasus. Now, because this was special summoned, you can get a Majesty's Pegasus to your hand, which is funny. This is called Majesty Pegasus, gets you to Majesty's Pegasus, kind of kind of funny. But anyways, you're gonna be able to search your field spell, pitch a card, it does not matter. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna activate the field spell, activate its effect to pop the Majesty Pegasus over here, which is gonna let you special summon from deck. Now, the card that you're gonna to wanna to special summon is your Bunbuku. Now, Bunbuku, of course, is gonna be able to trigger, which means you are gonna be able to get a card to your hand now typically this searches yamarashi but in this case we're actually going to search yada the reason for that is because we still have our normal summon of course so we're going to normal summon our yada and activate its effect which is going to get us to our magic specter wind now before we use our wind we're going to link summon these two into our nui over here the bread and butter of this deck the most important card in this deck and then activate its effect right so what you're going to do now is you're going to send your qb and you're going to send your ogama okay because of course we've already used the yada effect so we're going to send these two and we're going to be able to add two back to our hand and the two that we want to back to add back to our hand actually is uh, at least one of them has to be a majesty's pegasus the first one and the second one has to be just a two scale so it doesn't really matter if it's the second one it could potentially be like it like let's say you open a different two scale or whatever it doesn't really matter but what you want is you want a two scale and you want your majesty pegasus in this case we use two majesty pegasus so we're going to add these both back and then what you're going to want to do is activate your majesty pegasus in scale and now we're going to pendulum summon you're going to pendulum summon your ogama and you're going to pendulum summon your qb and you're also going to be pendulum summon your majesty pegasus over here the one that was in your hand right so you're going to be pen summoning three you're going to go chain link one qb chain link two ogama ogama is going to be able to set your tempest here and then qb is going to be able to add tornado now it could be the opposite you could set the tornado and then get the tempest to your hand either way you're going to get to both so it doesn't really matter but what you're going to do now is you're going to overlay these two and the, specifically the reason you want majesty pegasus in hand to, uh, to special summon like i said earlier is because you want to get it into the graveyard so you're going to make your rio over here once you make your rio you can activate your wind wind is going to tribute our nui over here and wind is uh, or, or then you can actually activate this right away it doesn't really matter and then wind is going to be able to summon a yada or any other name it doesn't matter what the name is here it could be nekomara but then this is going to resolve and then this is going to be able to summon your majesty pegasus right so either way you're getting to these two through your wind and through your ryu over here and uh, that's kind of the most important part getting to two cards over here is really really important now what you're going to do is use your majesty pegasus as well as your yada to go into your dynamite power over here which is really important because it's going to be an extender for you you're going to activate your ryu again now because you have a little bit more space on the board so that you can summon your yamarashi from your deck now yamarashi because it was summoned you can get back your wind so this is kind of give, giving you follow up for the next turn which is really nice over here so you're going to get to your wind over here and then you're going to use the dinosaur power over here to summon specifically your majesty pegasus and that's why we needed to use it as an overlay unit for ryu right what you're going to do now is you're going to overlay these two Okay, or it could be the Ogama, it doesn't really matter which ones you overlay, but let's overlay these two so that you can summon your Magister Paladin over here. Now, Magister Paladin is going to activate, of course, on the end phase, you're going to get to search a card, but here you're also going to detach a card, you're going to activate its effect, detach a card, and then once you detach a card, you're going to be able to summon a Majesty Pegasus from your extra deck, which is really nice because it's kind of like loading up your board. And then what you're going to do is set your Tornado. And then now on your end phase, this is going to resolve, and then you're going to be able to add Yamarashi to your hand. So now on your opponent's turn, standby phase, whatever, you're going to be able to activate activate your wind then you're going to be able to tribute your ogama specifically you want to tribute one in the main monster zone because you need extra monster zone spots so you're going to tribute that and you're going to be able to summon your kirin also ogama goes into the extra deck completely forgot but you're going to be able to summon your kirin over here and then this is going to go to the graveyard and then you can activate your Yamarashi as a quick effect to summon itself so that you can set back the wind which is going to set you up again for your turn three. So here, what you're ending on is a similar thing. Tempest and Tornado, so two trap cards over here. You're ending on a Unicorn Bounce. You're ending on some protection over here, which is really nice as well. And then turn three, when it rolls around, you're going to be able to follow up because you have your wind, of course, whatever you draw. And this is only a three-card combo because you need the two cards plus a discard. So you can have two cards in hand that could potentially be even more follow-up, could be more hand traps as well, right? So that is another combo. But again, look how much you're being able to fill your board off of a very minimal cards. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Those are some combos that you need to know to be competitive with Magic Spectre in the September 2024 Bandless format. And this is a very fun deck. It's a control-based deck. And I think it's a very powerful deck in today's format. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. We upload shorts here on the channel, deck profiles, product openings, vlogs, all that good stuff. We'll catch it right here on the channel. So make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spam. Go sign it out. Peace.